Hello and welcome to this tutorial and welcome to SAP Learning Academy. In this tutorial today, I will be covering topic on SAP HANA data provisioning. SAP HANA data provisioning is a key concept in SAP HANA and I will be covering topic what is SAP HANA data provisioning and also I'll be telling you the methods available in SAP HANA for data provisioning. So let me quickly get into the tutorial uh, with the overview like what is data provisioning. In general term if we call data provisioning is a process of creating, preparing and enabling a network to provide data. Now if we talk about the HANA terms like if I talk about HANA and in HANA what we call data provisioning. In this picture on the slide, we can see that we have the SAP HANA uh, target system in the right hand side and in the left hand side we have different uh, source system like business suite and SAP BW or uh, non-SAP data sources like uh, and SAP uh, data provisioning is a method by that we can actually replicate the data from this uh, SAP system or non-SAP system into the HANA system. So that's what we call data provisioning in HANA. And now we will uh, go into the next part of that. Now we'll be discussing about the methods and this is very very vital important part to know that what are the methods available in SAP uh, HANA data provisioning because you are going to ask a lot of questions in the interview uh, regarding this. Now first we'll be talking about the uh, one of the main topic that is the SAP LT replication server or SLT. So using this uh, method we can actually uh, we can actually allow the data to load and replicate in real time or scheduled data now from from source system for whether it's SAP or non SAP into the SAP HANA. And let me tell you that this SLT uh, server uses trigger based approach to pass the data from source system to target, target system. So what does it mean that trigger based? Trigger based means now as soon as uh, suppose your source system is uh, any SAP system and you, you are having a table in it. And as soon as the table is changed and automatically a trigger is uh, fired into the target system. So as soon as the data is actually changed in your in your source system, the data gets upgraded you know, automatically into the target system. Here the target system is the SAP HANA. Now we are going to the next method that is the SAP Sybase Replicate Server. And this uh, particular server we use mostly for the non-SAP data sources. And this server used a uh, log-based approach. So what does this uh, log based means? You know, using this log based, you know, the uh, the replication server reads the database log, you know, to pick up the data movements. So in the earlier you know, method like SLT, we have learned about the uh, 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 the trigger based means whenever the data is changed in your source system, then the data can be replicated directly into the target system and here it's a log based means the as soon as and the database server database server reads the log and if your log has some data in it then it will be updated into your target system now coming to the third type that is the sap data services or bods and using this uh, it is an etl tool and using this tool you can actually uh, move the data from source to target using this ETL process. You know, by this process, you can actually uh, you know, schedule some job in the batch, and you can uh, you can that's, uh, based on the schedule uh, uh, time, you can transfer the data from uh, from source to target. And here, your source system can be SAP or non-SAP, so it it supports both the source system. Now we are uh, coming into a uh, few other uh, types like uh, SDA, uh, HANA, Smart Data Access and let me tell you that SDA allows SAP HANA to connect or virtually access data without any need for data to move into SAP HANA. Suppose if I give you an example like you are using Hadoop as a source system and it is a, a third party system 
and not SAP HANA system. It is a third party system, non SAP. And you are, and, and you can, using this SDA process, you can virtually connect the Hadoop tables and you can virtually connect with SAP HANA. And so that as soon as the data is changed into your, uh, into your source system, like in Hadoop system, you can access the data into your HANA system without the need to move the data into HANA. And we have one more method that is the SDI, HANA Smart Data Integration. And let me tell you that SDI is an extension of SDA because SDI is having few more uh, adapters uh, and uh, and also using the SDA, you, know, you, can, you can facilitate the real time data from uh, from if I talk about Hadoop into the SAP HANA and also you know you, you can uh, you can do this on demand query suppose as soon as the data changes change into your Hadoop system and the data gets updated into your HANA system so uh, that's uh, all about this tutorial and if you have any question or comment about this one please write in the comment box i will be happy to answer this and please subscribe the channel and like and share this tutorial with your friends and colleagues and thank you for watching and please look into my other tutorial i have given the links in the below description and thank you again